What's up, everyone? Jeremy here, mtgheadquarters.com, bringing you a fun little box, a Russian box of Khan's Tarkir. This box was not cheap, but uh, there is always the however remote possibility of a foil rare that is in Russian. Look at this poor box. I will not even try to pronounce them, but uh, let me guys, uh, you guys, let me know if you want me to work in some foreign language openings each and every time when the new set comes out, because it seems like that is the best time to try to get a hold of it. And uh, I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. Coming close here to 75,000 subscribers, or just 1,000 away. So you know, if uh, just 10% of you tell a friend to come by and subscribe. You will, we will unlock the 75,000 subscriber celebration, which is going to be an entire block opening of either Onslaught block or Ra original Ravnica block. So about $1,500 to $2,000 in booster boxes later, we will have a pretty cool 75k celebration. I'm also going to work on a pretty rad giveaway, I think. Maybe I'll give away some MTG Headquarters playmats and so on and so forth. I don't know where the rare is, uh, but I'm hoping it's the same order. Looks like it is. It is. Hmm. When some can do. All right, let's get going here. The uh, three one one soldier card. The War Name Aspirant, I think this is. Ruthless Ripper. And our rare, our very first rare is Dune Blast. Alright. The old Dune Blast. I know I said I was going to save this for the 75k subscriber celebration, but I think I'm going to do something a little bigger, a little more epic than just a Russian box. And, uh,. Because you guys have been doing amazing, sharing the channel and, and uh, spreading the word. These cards definitely feel more glossy than, uh, than U.S. cards, I would venture to say. We have that dragon claw thingy. Uh, the Sultai Triland. Despise. And we have a Russian wooded foothills. So second pack, we've got a fetch and a foil mountain. I don't think the, uh, I don't think like the, the fetch ones in general are worth a ton more, maybe. Obviously the foils are pretty bananas. But let me know uh, if you guys want to see some Russian uh, other sets because uh, I will try to work some of that in. All right, we have the Teamer Charger, the uh, Warrior Guy, can't remember all the names, uh, Bear's Companion, and we have a, what, Ugin's Nexus, I think? And it's a Mythic. It's not the Mythic we wanted, but it's the Mythic we got. I hope you guys are all having a great end of December. I want to be careful about... Saying Christmas because I know not everyone celebrates Christmas and you know I don't want to uh, I don't want to alienate anyone so now we're just gonna get to the uh, I'm just gonna get right to the uncommons uh, secret plans kin tree invocation I think and a rare is a ghost fire blade very good in draft. I don't know if anyone uh, that sees any constructive play. But it's a very cool card. Nonetheless. So hopefully the... Uh, I haven't. I know I haven't been putting a ton of box openings. I've got a cool... Uh, Return to Ravnica opening coming up. So keep your eyes open on that. 
and obviously this one, and then uh, we'll do the 75,000 subscriber celebration, which is going to be a really rad too. Seek the Horizon, uh, the Battle Horde guy, the Warrior Chick, and we have an Ivory Tusk Fortress. Is there a rare? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we have a foil fetch line. The very first foil fetch line I have ever opened. And it's a Russian one. Yeah, you could say it's a Wooded Foothills and that's kind of sad. But, oh yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. That is such a sick pull. So two Wooded Foothills, one of them foil. So our... Our foil rare happened to be a fetch line, which is great. That will help pay for this box, that's for sure. Won't pay for the whole thing, but it'll help. Suspension field. Oh, man. Yes. I have opened so much cons, and I've never opened a foil fetch. Set Adrift. Mardu Charm. Sultai Ascendancy. Wow. Oh, and we have a Soren emblem. How about a Soren or Sarkin? Oh my gosh. Foil wooded foothills. What are the odds? They are extremely low. Mardu Heart Piercer, I think. A uh, Abzan Falconer. Raider Spoils. And a Surik. Very good. Very cool. I run him in Beard Force 1. Very, very cool. And we have a Foil. Um, Just Guy Wind Scout. Well, since we've already opened our Foil Fetch Land. Wow, what are the odds, too? Oh, man, I'm just blown away. I'm a little tired from uh, two straight days of Christmas celebration. But uh, I can tell you that woke me up. Stubborn Denial. Just Guy Charm. Uh, I forget the Warrior guys. And we have um, this guy, the Sultai guy. Goblin Token. Foil. Fetch land. Now we need some more. Horror. Not foil. Any fetch lands, any planeswalkers, I think, would be amazing. I have not opened a lot of cons lately. I opened a ton in the beginning. Scion of Glaciers, I think this guy is. Swiftwing or Swiftwing Griff or something like that. Sultai Soothsayer. And Teemer Ascendancy. Goblin Token. So I gotta say thank you guys so very much for all of your... Amazing support for the channel. I I couldn't be happier. And, you know, I set a goal last year of being closer to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. But we got very, very close. Monastery Swift Spear. Foil version of that. Or how about a foil Russian treasure cruise? Abzan, uh, what is this, Battle Priest or something? The Lifelink guy. Mystic Monastery. And a Mardu Ascendancy. Um, we have a, an outside chance of hitting 75,000 by the end of the year, but, you know, there's only six days left. So if a thousand of you all told a friend, we would get there. But, uh, if we don't, that's okay. We're, can, we're still going to do a really cool 75,000 subscriber celebration. Going to work on some, uh, dual channel content. Just guy, um, uh, whatever his name is, he's pretty good. Sultai Charm. Ice Feather Aven, and um, Thousand Winds or something like that. Very good limited card, that's for sure. And we have a Russian Morph token. That might be kind of fun to bust out at my local draft this week. BYO Morph tokens. Come on, Russian Foil Treasure Cruise. Wouldn't that be bananas? That would be... B A N A N A S. Uh, the Alpha Strike thingy. I don't remember that card. Murek Nightblade. And our rare is a. I forget. Jeering Instigator, I think it's called. 
warrior token. Russian warrior token. So yeah, if you guys uh, vote in the comments down below uh, what foreign box you'd like to see next, uh, I will try to obtain one. They are expensive and often hard to find, but we got this hush, uh, the, the bird, the gain two life bird, the warrior guy. We got a foil on this pack too. Uh, Bloodsucker. And an utter end. Very cool. Russia, Russian utter end. I like to see that. And we have the Russian uh, little 2 1 Heinspire or something like that. I forget the name of that. I would definitely only want to open foreign sets of sets that I've played heavily since I've been back. So anything from like. I'd love to maybe do some foreign Theros or something like that. I'll try to make foreign always at least one foreign. Um, Unboxing every new set. Obs on Falconer. Obs on Charm. The uh, Mardu Triland Nomad Outp Outpost. And a Crap Essence in Russian. Crap Essence. I did have some vodka today. Some Tito's vodka. Not Russian vodka, but vodka all the same. We are light on fetch lines. Only two fetchies open so far. Definitely could, uh, we could use some more to help offset, uh, $200 box of cons. Burn away. I forget what this thing is called, but it's the 311 warrior tokens. Ruthless Ripper. And an ankle shanker. Shankity shank shank. Shank shank. And a bear. Rawr. Rawr. Can't wait to upload this video because you guys have been waiting. You guys have been waiting so patiently with like vlog after vlog. Hordling Outburst. Jeskai Thingamajigger. Kintree. Ooh, and a Herald of Anifenza. Very, very good. First pickable card all day, twice on Sunday, and with a foil disdainful stroke. Foil Russian to Sandful Stroke. There might be some takers of that card at my locals. The foiling definitely looks different, the foiling process for these Russian cards. Wow. Alright, come on. Show us Polluted Delta. Water Whirl, I think. Arc Lightning. Sultai Soothsayer. Oh, there we go. There's another mythic. So no Planeswalkers, we probably won't get one, but uh, the Anafenza is a very beautiful card to have. I like the card. Hopefully she sees more play. Come on, I want a Russian Planeswalker so bad. But now, with all, that's our third Mythic, I don't know. Uh, Dragon Eye Savant or something like that? Winter Flame, uh, Sultai Triland, and Grim House Bricks, I think. Come on. Russian Fetchies and Russian Planeswalkers. How about a Russian Wingmate Rock? That would be spicy, right? Brave the Sands. Uh. Armament Core, Raider Spoils, and Crater's Claws. Crater's Claws is in Beard Force 1. Actually, Beard Force 1, the, uh, my standard deck's been doing pretty good. Uh, I played it on stream the other night. Didn't, it didn't end great, but it's still competitive. I need, it needs some tweaking. That's for sure. This is like something Ramparts, I think. I don't know. High Spire Mantis and <gasps> Wingmate Rock. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is one heck of a pull. Russian Wingmate Rock, nonetheless. Very nice. Now I'm certain there's not going to be any more Mythics. But Wingmate Rock is very good. Notable pull so far. Wooded Foothills. Foil Wooded Foothills. And a wingmate rock. And a utter end. Probably be some interest in that card. 
Teamer Charger. War name Aspirant. I feel like I opened this exact pack before. And uh, a right, a fetch land. Um, gosh, why can't I think of this one? Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. It escapes me. The white green fetch land. Awesome. Oh, we have a foil. The Morpher guy. What the heck is that? That card called. Why can't I think of it? I'll think of it. All right, two fetch lands. Well, three. That's good. Toss in a polluted delta, and I'll be a windswept heath. That's what it is. Very happy to see any fetch lands now. All help me make a little bit back. But we did pull a shiny one, which is awesome. No walkers, but that's okay. The Windstorm or whatever, Arc Lightning, High Spire Mantis, and Obzon Ascendancy. Those of you out there who can speak or read Russian, I salute you. Come on, we've got a few packs left. Maybe a few more epic pulls. Seek the Horizon. The Misfire guy. That Gollum guy. And a Dirtle Turtle. Boy, nothing hurts more than... That's why I just don't play this card anymore because... Boy, nothing hurts more than somebody act of treasoning that card. So if all you guys watching this, you know someone who might like the channel on your Facebook page or, you know, in, in real life, send them a message. Send them a text message. Tell them to come on over and subscribe so we can unlock the 75,000 subscriber celebration much sooner. Venerable Lamasu, I think that's card. Uh, Mardu Charm. Secret Plans. Oh, and a Pearl Lake Agent. All right. That's another Mythic. Now, wow. Okay. That's good pulls. That's good pulls. Been a while since I've opened a Walker. There's still like 10 packs left, though. I mean, we could find... A walker in here. That would be saucy. Another fetch line would be awesome, but this box has already been awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Air of the Wilds. Uh, Quiet Contemplation, I think. Raider Spoils. And Flying Crane Technique. So if you guys are enjoying this video, now is a great time to crush that thumbs up button. Or if you're new to the channel. Uh, maybe it'd be a good time to subscribe. I'll start doing more foreign packs if you guys would like to see them. I'm having a lot of fun. Feels like opening all new cards. Monastery Swift Spear. That Dragon Land. The Warrior Chief. And a Rakshasa. Death Dealer. Oh, and we have a Foil Winter Flame. Seems like Rakshasa has some, uh, some potential. It's a good card. Definitely is a good card. Incremental Growth. Blood Fire Flies or whatever it is. Uh, Warden Eye something. And an Avalanche Tusker is our rare. Hopefully this will be kind of like a little surprise for you guys. Because I did say I was going to do this for the 75k, but you guys have been so patient and awesome. And I haven't done any crazy uploads in a while. Goblin Slide, uh, Bear's Companion, Raider Spoils, and Hardened Scales, Russian Edition. Come on, Polluted Delta, where are you? Or Sarkon, or... It actually took me forever to open up um, Soren, too. Any one of those would be rad. This card is brutal. This card is not brutal. Obzon Triland and uh, Jeskai Ascendancy. 
And we have a foil throttle. That looks rad. Rad, guys. I'm hip. It's hip to be square, you know? Little Jess Guy Ascendancy Russian Edition. All right, become immense. Seek the horizon. Winter flame, and dragon style twins and twins. That card is brutal in draft. Brutal. Maybe, maybe someday it'll be a constructed card, but it seems unlikely. Isn't this called like Rise to the Challenge or something like that? Uh, gosh, I know what this is. All attacking creatures get minus blinding spray or something like that. We have Sultai Charm and Show Me a Land. Ooh. Um, I don't know that it this card, but it is, uh, it's like prowess. Whenever you cast a spell, your creatures get lifelink kind of thing. Super brutal in draft because lifelink is legit. In cons, it seems like. Life gain, I mean. Because if you can dirt along enough, you can. there's enough huge fatties that can just change the tide of the game. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, including this. Packs left. If we can find a Planeswalker or another Fetchland, I call this box pretty sweet. Oh, no. Yes! Yes! Russian Sarkad! Whoa. Wow, what a box. Foil Fetchland, Sarkin. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a box. Wow, three packs left. Well, four packs. It's all gravy now. We are, we, we are, anything now is just sauce. Binding Spray, Jeskai Charm, Murderous Cut. There might be some interest around that. An Icy Blast. And a Foil Venerable Lamasu. Three packs left. All right. Feels like there's a Foil in this pack. Maybe it'll be a Foil Treasure Cruise. But, uh, I've already said the name of this card and now I forget. Ice Feather Raven. Ruthless Ripper, and <laughs> Wooded Foothills. Three Wooded Foothills in the, in the, <laughs> So four Fetchlands and a Sarkin in this box. And a Foil Active Trees in. Wow. We may, we may have actually got close to uh, breaking even on this box. And then when you add in how fun it's been to open, uh, it's been a win. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Now would be a great time to crush that thumbs up button. And also tell a friend. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. It's Christmas Day right now at 10.30 at night. I'm going to try to get this up for you tonight. Well, how about a foil monastery? It's just I'm trying to be, like, realistic. It's an uncommon. High Spire Mantis. And an Acropolis Fiend. Okay, fine. All right, this is the last pack, guys. So if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe or share this with your friends. Post it on your Twitter. Help us get close to that 100,000 subscribers. I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I just hope you had a good week in general. Let's finish. I will go through the rares one more time. Burn Away. Pine Walker. Ride down and uh, I can't think of the name, but who cares? <laughs> it's all right. So, notable final pulls. All right. So, Wooded Foothills number one, Murderous Cut, maybe Sarkhan, Rakshasa, maybe Pearl Lake Ancient. Oh, and I forgot about the Wingmate Rock. This could be the most epic box. This is probably the most epic box of cons I've ever opened any language. Wingmate Rock. 
Maybe the Herald of Anafenza. Foil Disdainful Stroke. Utter End. Surik. Uh, I thought we'd get Soren with the Soren token, but no. Oh yeah, no big deal. Foil Wooded Foothills. And another Wooded Foothills. So three Wooded Foothills out of one box. One of them Foil. And a Windswept Heath. So four Fetch Lands. Then a Wingmate Rock. A Sarkon. Surik, Dragon Claw, and Offenza, Utter End, and Pearl Lake Agent. If you guys want to see more foreign openings, please take a moment to subscribe and crush the like button below this video. I hope you guys had fun. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG Vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.